Today we're going to go over some basic manga studio techniques. We'll be going over the most essential tools and techniques needed to produce a clean colored manga illustration. So I'll be using a pre-drawn sketch, keeping this focus on the software, instead of making this another drawing lesson. So this is work right now that I'm doing uh, for an online anime themed Mahjong game. You might have seen some of these characters in uh, previous videos. Hope you guys will support the game when it comes out. I'm not sure when that is, but I'll get the link up to you guys when it's finished. First of all, open up your Manga Studio. And then you're going to open up a brand new file. So go to File, New. And then uh, we're going to go for A4. The resolution down to about 150. Again, so that it doesn't chug up memory as we're drawing. Take a sketch that you've done before. There's the one I'm going to be using. Alright, so press Command C, copy, and then you go to New Canvas and then Paste, and then center the drawing. Alright, press Command T to enlarge the picture or transform or transform tool. Holding on to Command will allow you to um, distort the drawing in perspective, which is not what we want. Holding on to Option will enlarge the picture from the center out. Okay, but it distorts it at the same time, so you're free to free to move it around. Holding on to shift will allow you to expand it without distorting the picture. Now the one we want is holding on to option shift. This will expand the picture as well as centering the picture. And then you can move it around. Option shift, enter, return. So the tool that I like to use, my little secret, for inking is is actually the mechanical pencils. This actually gives it a more natural look than uh, the pens. See, that's the pencil. Oh, we got mechanical, darker pencil, colored pencil, lighter pencil. I'm going to be using the mechanical pencil. Or the darker pencil, either one's fine. Um, this is what the pen looks like. The pen is really hard edge and sometimes unforgiving. Come over here select the drawing and lower the opacity down all right set this layer to multiply so now it's on top and you can see through it and this is what multiply does all right i'm on the layer underneath and i'm drawing and you can still see it now if the multiply was off normal and turn it back on see as you can see the multiply setting is off, but when I turn it on, you can see right through it. Um, let me lower down the opacity. All right. So using the mechanical pencil tool, I outline from the outside of the drawing first, creating a silhouette. Alright, now I'm going to close off the ends here like this on her legs. Just so that when I fill it in with color, it'll stop right there. And I'll just erase this. Here. Alright, now what I like to do is I like to drop the size of the brush. And the hotkey for that is like the opening bracket. You know that boxy parentheses looking thing. I'll drop it down to like 1, 1.0. Depending on whatever you know number you're using, go down from there. Just a little bit. And then just continue uh, inking out your drawing. 